What is up everybody, Triforce Caboose here. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. If you can hear my voice right now, then you have stumbled into another episode of Go Figure. This is my part of the internet where I am your host and I take you through all things action figures, statues, bust, or anything of the sort, but I won't run my mouth too long. If you want to catch me on any other part of the internet, all the links to my socials are down below. But without me running my mouth, let's get right into today's video, but I hope to see you around, hope you're doing well, and look forward to chatting with you soon. Be safe and be good people, my friends. What is up, guys? Triforce Caboose here, and today we are taking a look at the Final Fantasy VII remake, Aerith Gainsborough Statuette. Much like my Tuffy figure, I went ahead and purchased this from the Square Enix store. Um, I don't do a lot of statue reviews, or I'm not planning to, but this thing is absolutely killer, and I just wanted to take a quick look at it. Um, normally, I'd start off with it in packaging if I still have the card and everything. This thing was a nightmare to get back at the packaging, so I said, screw it. We'll just show off. There's not much. It just says Square Enix, Final Fantasy VII. A little picture of Midgar and everything there. It's great. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a little bit closer up on everything on the details and kind of talk about what I really like about this statue and everything. Uh, statue, there's not nearly as much to talk about that I dislike. I'm kind of huge in on this thing. Just want to talk about it for a little bit. So let's pop her off of the stand and into the hand. So out of the box, this is what you get. Aerith herself, which if my camera will focus, we want to talk about. I adore this face sculpt. I was looking at it online and I'm trying to get it to capture just how excellent it looks. I was a little worried about it looking wonky and everything when I got it actually out of the package, if my hands will stop shaking. It looks fantastic. The deco on the actual figure, the material, there's actually a floral texture on the pink dress, which is magnificent. You got the belt line, a nice little deco to the hair bow at the tip of it. Bracelets, hands are magnificently sculpted. Down to the boots, nice paint application to the boots. Nice silver, or excuse me, yeah, that's silver. <laughs> nice bronze buckles, everything like that. Honest to God, looks amazing. You have her staff, and then the stand, her... Don't you run from me. Her left foot is hollow. Her right foot has the peg hole. It just slips right on down in there. Just kind of got to find the sweet spot for that peg to go. Do not apply a lot of pressure. I wouldn't, would hate to break this. And you just kind of move her uh, right foot onto it. Stands real simple. Let's see if I can get it to pick up there. Just Final Fantasy VII Remake. Basic. It looks fantastic on a desk though. As for the scale on this figure, if you have her on the base, which I'm assuming you will, you are looking at about, for the tip of her head, right at nine inches or 23 centimeters is what it looks like for her. So she's actually a tall girl. She's a tall girl, trying to make it in the world, trying to hang out with Cloud every day. Thinking about Zach and it ain't even funny, helping materia and making some money. As for her staff, just ports in through the hand. This part right here pegs right into that. There is a correct way to put it in there. It's real easy to see. And then bam, there is your Aerith Gainsborough statuette. I love this thing. I still have never finished Final Fantasy VII, and I've only played part one of the remake. Aerith was 100% uh, in my top two favorite characters, her and Barrett. I adore Aerith and Barrett. I just, I don't have anything bad to say about this statue. For the price point of $40 on the Square Enix store, it is a magnificent buy. It looks wonderful on a desk. It looks wonderful under different lightings. The sculpt's magnificent. Paint application's magnificent. Deco's magnificent. I have zero bad things to say about this. If you like the remake, if you like Final Fantasy, if you like Aerith, 40 bucks, guys. It's not bad. I would recommend this. This is absolutely excellent. I own a few statues, not a ton. I'm more of an articulated figure guy. This thing's magnificent, and I'm always happy to put this right in the backdrop of stream so that it's front and center because it just looks so god dang good. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just really wanted to talk about it. I was kind of just gushing when I got it, and I was like, screw it. Let's do it. Let's just review it. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud. Guys, if you don't take anything away from my videos, remember, no matter what's going on in life, what kind of negative energy, what kind of bad vibes, whatever is getting you down in life, take a second. Appreciate yourself. Remember, you deserve happiness. Smile, and remember, this world is a better place having you in it. Until we meet up on the tracks again for our next crazy and wacky figure review, the pleasure has always been all mine. I'm Triforce Caboose, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Until then, this caboose is loose and leaving the station.